Welcome back to the channel guys and this week we're going to be talking about how our cilantro has been growing and what we encountered in the process. Alright guys, welcome back. Now in this week um, we're going to be talking about what we encountered um, in reference to our water reservoir and how our plants are growing besides that. Let's talk about what we encountered in the past week. A uh, week and a half from our germination process, our plants, as you can see, they have been growing very, very well. Um, to give you a little bit of backstory, what we did was, once we did the germination process, we put our plants in our cilantro into a hydroponic system. We had it on a timer system. Basically, from 6 o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m., we had it turn on for 15 minutes every hour. Okay? Now, what we're doing differently today... And the reason I'm going to get to that is that the weather has been extremely hot. We've been anywhere from 95 to 100 degrees during the day. And what we encountered is that our water reservoir in a week has gone from 10 gallons down to a gallon. Okay, when we were running our hydroponics um, lettuce and our chard, we only had to refill towards the end of the process. Okay, so therefore... We've seen that there was a large um, water uh, drain from, from the heat, so we had to top off our system, okay? Um, what, what I've seen is that, uh, what I had to do, I'll get to that in a second, I've seen that the plants are growing a lot greener as the demonstration from the ones that I kept for the phoponics system that we're going to be building um, this coming week. <laughs> compared to the the ones in the hydroponic system um, there's twice twice more growth in our hydroponic system so there goes to show that you know this system does work um, the 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 leaves on the hydroponic uh, cilantro are much greener meaning that they're getting much more nutrients from the nutrients that we implemented um, into our system compared to just using regular water. Now obviously these plants are just getting regular water, they're not in the soil. The soil does have nutrients for them to grow from. But um, we're going to start to see is giving these guys a head start and once we put the other ones that we have left over into our, our fog ponics to see if they can catch up to them. They're going to have about a week and a half more time in reference to having actual nutrients um feeding them so we'll see that'll be a little challenge that we'll be having in our channel this uh, this coming up weeks okay now what i had to do to top off our system is not just simply meant we'll add water to our system we had to add the nutrients so we had to um add our ratios uh correctly now our reservoir is holding about um it's a little bit over 10 gallons. I added about a little bit more. It's about 11 gallons at this point. Um, our uh, PPM um, ratio right now is about, it was 660. Um, but the nutrients weren't completely dissolved. I just threw them in there. I stir it up a little bit. Now tomorrow, I'll check again. I left the system running completely. And I'm gonna get to that right now. Um, letting the system run completely to be able to circulate through the nutrients and make sure that they dissolve properly in our system and they don't it's not a, a fast reaction and have any problems with our roots now our you're gonna see now that our cilantro has been having good amount of um, root growth in their system and we're very happy with that um, the only thing that I've encountered I think that it might be some algae um, in incorporating into the roots so that's why they're not completely white but they are fairly white and a couple of the, the roots on the cilantro it's a little bit greenish or a little brownish but i think it's algae that's getting into them um have to figure out what we're going to do to if it's if that algae is going to create a problem for us or not if not then we'll let it be now while we're leaving our system on completely now from the week and a half mark on now, in our previous time that we did our, um, our lettuce and our chard, we did the same thing. We had it on a timer for the first two weeks, and then as soon as we turned it on and kept it on, we saw a rapid amount of the growth. 
Now, some people may say that you can, you know, have it on a timer and let your system, you know, let your roots get air and then, you know, feed off again. But we have an air pump. We're adding oxygen to the water. So that's why I think we had a great, uh, you know, growth in our cycle once we um, had them turned on the whole time. So that's what we're going to do now. We're on the week and a half mark. We're turning it on from here on out to see how much growth we're going to get from these plants from um, here on out. And hopefully we have a good production from these. They, they look and they, you know, they smell wonderful at this point. So we're very happy with the process that we have done in the past couple of days in reference to keeping up with our cilantro. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down in the comments section, guys. Hit that like button so we know that we're doing uh, something uh, productionally well for you guys. And um, if you want to see any future videos or you have any questions or concerns, leave them down so I can get to you guys as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button so we can go ahead and um, update you guys with all the videos that we're going to be posting from here on out. Thank you for visiting our channel and have a great day.